Hello out there scholars and thanks for visiting my channel here on YouTube. Response to the last episode was very positive and a lot of people had suggestions on what else we could cover here in Old High Jackson for the Halloween season. By far the most requested is the Belfont Cemetery. As you can see from this video it's on the Registry of Historical Places. Before the Civil War this was the county seat. Amazing right? The Union Army utterly destroyed the town, and since it's still early fall, there was so much undergrowth we couldn't really see any of the remaining ruins. The cemetery itself is extremely old, and as you can see, it's in bad shape, and nature has done a lot to reclaim the area. Mature trees have grown up through some of the graves. Many of the broken headstones date from the early 18th century. Back then, this was called the uh, Alabama Frontier. Some of these folks were laid to rest 80 years or so before Alabama became a state in the early 19th century. Now I've had people tell me that a ghostly woman has been seen in the vicinity as well as ghost lights. I can't really suggest anyone come here in the night. There are numerous trip hazards everywhere you tread and the undergrowth is very dense and snake friendly. It is a genuinely creepy place though. The forest here is of the type you see in a lot of horror movies. The other two places we visited were not so easily accessed. We visited the Dalbury Tumbling Rock Cave. Apparently it's now a guided tour venue. We thought it was closed to the public, but when we got there, we saw that now there's a keypad in place, so if you pay for a scheduled tour ahead of time, you can meet with a guide there who will conduct your tour for you. We made note of this, and as we were preparing to leave, a party actually emerged out of the mouth of the cave. So we will probably be back in the future for a tour and video of our own. Have to say, spooky and enchanting, but not a very haunted place per se. The area is also a trailhead for hikers and campers. There are lots of vehicles and tents around. The landscape in the area is awesome and beautiful. Another place that we received a lot of requests for is the elegant old house called Moody Brick. This was the least accessible of all. Though we were told that the family who lives there doesn't mind visitors interested in the place's history as well as its supposed poltergeist activity, the house is currently under extensive renovation so we weren't able to actually go inside. So once again, perhaps in the future we can do a piece that goes into depth about this grand old house. Well, that's it for this one. I really want to thank everyone for checking out my channel. Leave your comments below. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe, and feel free to share this video on all your social media. Thanks everyone, and have a great day.